Hey guys, teacher Corey here, English Tiger. And everybody knows an adjective describes a noun. It's a word like beautiful, big, small, long, tall. But did you know an adjective must come in a certain order? If you're using more than one adjective, there is a grammatically correct order for it, and that's what we're going to learn today. Today, we will talk about adjective order, the order of adjectives. As I said in the intro, today is about order of adjectives. We will look at the different types of adjectives and which order to place them in when you're using more than one to describe a noun. Here are all the different types of adjectives. We have articles, quantity, opinion, size, age, shape, color, origin, material, and purpose. You can see here, they're all put in their order. So, article will always come before a color. Age will always come before a purpose. What do these adjectives mean? Let's dive a little deeper into that. First one are articles. Now, articles tell you if the item is known or not, whose item it is, or which item you are talking about. You can see in our examples here, I like those cookies over there. Those is the article. It's telling you which cookies. Those ones, those ones right there, the ones you're pointing to. So that tells you which cookies, it's an article. I have the cookies from last night. The is the article. It tells that it's a known cookie. It's the cookies you had last night. You know which cookies these are because you use the the cookies from last night. And the last one, I have a cookie. We use a to mean it's not previously known. You did not see this cookie before. It's just a random cookie. The cookie from the box. You know that cookie. It's from the box you know. A cookie is just any cookie. You have some cookie. So these are articles. Words like a, an, the, this, that, those are all articles. And articles come first in the order of adjectives. Quantity is number two. And this tells the number of something, how many of it you have, that is the quantity. We can see in the first sentence, I have five bedrooms in my house. Five is a number, tells you how many bedrooms, it's the quantity. The next one, we have the article and the quantity. So order of adjectives number one and two. I would like the four book package, please. The is the article telling you which book package you want. You want the four book package. Four is the quantity telling you how many books in this package. So we put the first, because it's number one. 
for second. Quantities are number two. And last one. I want a four-story house. This one also has the article a. Means you did not choose the house already. You don't have one certain house in mind. You just want a house that has four stories. So four floors. I want a four-story house. Article, then quantity. Third is opinions. Opinions are what you think about something. And opinions are different from everybody. You can all have a different opinion about things. They are not facts. Opinions are words like beautiful, delicious, smelly. These are opinions, not facts. Because what you think is beautiful, I might not think is beautiful. Example, I don't like to eat seafood. Many people do. Their opinion, seafood is delicious. My opinion, it is not. Our first sentence here. This is a beautiful house. We have a... The article before the opinion beautiful. He cooked four delicious cheeseburgers. Four is the quantity. It comes before the opinion delicious. Four delicious hamburgers. It's too cold to go walking in the winter time. Cold is an opinion. What is too cold for you might not be too cold for me. This is an opinion adjective. Next, number four, we have size. This will tell you if something's big, small, tiny. Any word like that is a size adjective. Our first sentence I want. That juicy, thick burger. That is the article. So it comes first in the adjective list. Juicy is an opinion. So that comes next. And then thick talks about the size. So that's the last one in this order. I want that juicy. Thick burger. That's a pretty little flower. Pretty is opinion. So it comes before little the size. I want that pretty little flower. Next one is age. These are words like young, old, ancient, baby. These are age words. Look at that tall old lady. Tall is the size. Old is the age. So tall comes before old. There goes a cute, tiny baby dog. Cute is an opinion. This here, this is my dog. His name's Latte. I think he's very cute, but because he's my dog, I might be a little biased. Maybe you don't think so. so. Cute is opinion. Tiny, the size, comes after opinion adjective. Baby is an age. Well, not really an age, but we count it as an age because we all know baby means you're very, very young. So baby comes after size. Size comes after opinion. There goes a cute, tiny baby dog.
Number six, we have the shape. So if it's a circle, if it's square, if it's wide, if it's straight, these type of things are all shapes. Well, shapes are the sixth in the adjective order list. You can see in our first example, look at that big round ball. The article that came first, big, the size, round, the shape, ball, the noun, that big round ball. <clears throat> this is a wide, long road. So wide is more the size, long is also a size. <laughs> this is a wide, long road. So we have wide, Along the adjectives describing the noun road. So that is shape. Next one, seven, color. Everybody knows colors. Red, yellow, pink, blue. So I won't spend much time on this. But color comes number seven. I have a small brown cat. Color comes after the size. And eight, we have origin. So this means where something comes from. We also count in religion words and ethnicity words too. You can see in our example, there's a tall, young Canadian basketball player. We can see tall, his size, age, young. Canadian is the origin. He's from Canada, like me. Wait, this is my tiny, old Chihuahua dog. Tiny is his size. Old is age. Chihuahua is the type of dog. And we often count that as like an ethnicity. What type of thing it is. Is it a Canadian, a Chihuahua, a Mexican? These all count in origin for adjectives. Next, number nine, we have the material. So this talks about what something is made of, what it's made of. The soda water material is glass. My aircon remote material is plastic. Materials, almost one of the last adjectives in the order. There's only one more after this. You can see my examples. He has a big metal cup. Big is size, metal material. So metal comes after big. You could throw a color in here too. He has a big gray metal cup. Next one, we have a few more adjectives in it. She has a beautiful, long, red cotton dress. Beautiful is opinion, so it comes first in this list. Long is the shape or size, so it comes before. Color, color red, obviously. And our last one, cotton. Cotton's a soft material we make many clothes out of. She has a beautiful, long, red cotton dress. And our last one, number 10, is purpose. This is what you use it for. What, what is its purpose? What it's made for? Often for purpose, we will use a noun as an adjective by adding ing to it, or sometimes not. So an example of this first one, I have a sleeping bag. Sleeping bag is one thing itself. I know sleeping is a verb, bag is a noun, but sleeping bag 
is a type of blanket, one you can wrap around you when you're camping to sleep. Sleeping bag here, sleeping bag describes itself. So it's actually an adjective. It describes the type of blanket. Or a little easier down below, we have the basketball jersey. Basketball jersey is a noun. It's its own thing. But it also describes the type of shirt it is. You know, it's the shirt with no sleeves that people play basketball in. So our sentence, he has five cool, big Canadian basketball jerseys. Five the number, cool the opinion, big the size, Canadian the origin, basketball jersey the purpose. And our last one, she has a fast, powerful editing computer. The computer is for editing. So in this one, the verb editing is actually an adjective. It has the ing on it. It's describing what type of computer it is. So that makes it an adjective too. It's a purpose adjective. The editing computer, the basketball jersey, the sleeping bag. These are purpose adjectives. So now we're going to do some practice to see if you can put the right adjectives in the right order. I want you to look at each of these sentences, pause the video, and try to put the right adjectives in the right order. Once you get all five here, press play again. I will give you the true answers. So press pause now. Five, four, three, two, one. And here's all the answers. I hope you got them all correct. If not, let me know some mistakes down in the bottom or some things you didn't fully understand, or maybe I didn't explain it too well. And here's our last five. So same thing, pause the video, get your answers, press play again, and we'll come back with the answers for you. Five, four, three, two, one, pause. Okay, and here are the right answers. So that's it, guys. That's the order of adjectives. Don't forget to follow me over on social media. Leave a like and subscribe. Share with your friends. And let me know anything you want to learn about next time. I'll see you guys later.